Hello there guys! I'm back again! So today I'm going to make a new vlog about my project which is flower pot stand. So this is inspired by minimalist style and I hope you will join me as I make my flower pot stand. So keep on watching guys! Thank you! Now, as you can see, we already have a plan for our flower pot stand. So that is the isometric and this one is the orthographic view. All we need is the materials needed for it. So we have an angle bar here, a wildering rod, and a flat bar. So let's start now, guys. As you can see, I already... Uh, cut the angle bar I for, Sorry, I forgot to take a video when I measure the it so the measurement of my flower pot stand is 50 centimeters It is the upper and lower base the measurement of the upper and lower while the vertical form of my flower pot stand is 50 the width is 50 and the length is 70 so I use a hacksaw to cut the angle bar and the flat bar. After you finish cutting all the desired uh, measurement of the angle bar, you need to use a welding machine to stick all the materials forming a square or a vertical position. Now we move on on cutting the flat bar for our um, top base, the placement of our plant. After cutting the fat bar into six pieces, you need to use again a welding machine to stick it with the uh, skeleton of the upper base. So, guys, be careful in using a welding machine because it's very hot, and if you uh, touch the welding rod and the ground surely you you will experience an electric shock so be careful on that and also wear a protective eyeglass so that your eyes won't be damaged especially on a job like this so it's very hard After using a welding machine for sticking the metals into each other, you need to do this so that your work will be uh, clean or not so bumpy when you touch it. So this is the um, not so finale output. done next is you're going to put 
or put the paint into your output but before that you're going to um, apply a red lead with the thinner so that um, your product will not be easily um, rusted and it will last long so make sure to cover it all with its and leave uh, no trace of its original um, color leave it for a couple of hours and then when it's dried up you apply again a paint so it's all up to you what color you want to apply or achieve because you know we are different and yes different taste I, so I apply a uh, color black so that it will look like elegant and um, it will blend with my idea of designing it I covered it with uh, white yes it's not finished yet I will also make a design on it so there's a purpose why I colored it black so watch me guys as I um, apply or design my flower pot stand into something new and very attractive one So, presenting my final output. I hope you enjoy watching this, guys, and learn from it. Thank you!